If you're into astrophotography with your iPhone, I found a very cool app. This app will let you take up to 500 photos, 100 seconds each, adjust the ISO, adjust the focus so it's pin sharp, and those 500 photos, it'll even stack and align them all for you so the stars are crispy sharp. Oh yeah, did I mention it's free? Let's get right into it. You're going to need a tripod. That's just it, you, you're gonna need it because it's taking many, many photos over a long period of time. You're also gonna need a phone holder. This one here is a MagSafe one from Explorer Photo Video. It's sensational, there's a link down in the description there if you want to purchase this one. You're going to need the app as well. The app is called Astro Shader. You can get it right now from the App Store. It's going to let you take all those photos with all the cameras that are on your phone, save them as a JPEG, uh, H-E-I-F, Heath, 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 Heath? How do you pronounce that? How do you pronounce that in the comment? Or TIFF, and the TIFF file is obviously where you'd go to if you wanted to adjust these things up in uh, Photoshop or Lightroom and so forth afterwards. But I'm gonna shoot it in JPEG here tonight just so you can see the ease and simplicity of what we're doing here. Oh yeah, the other important thing that I didn't mention before, you're going to need very dark skies to do this. You can probably try it in the city, but it, well, I don't know, it may work, it may not. I've got a feeling it won't work. But out here where I am, it's it's dark skies. All right, this is what the app looks like. I'm just gonna turn this light off here. You don't need to look at my ugly mug for a while. You wanna know what the app's doing. That's better. -er. So there we have Orion there sitting in the middle. As we look at this app, there's a few things to look at. One, this is the main screen that you do your focusing on. So the slider at the bottom there is going to let you focus on whatever you want to focus on. The beauty of this app is that you can zoom right in with just finger gestures and have a look at the stars nice and sharp and then adjust the focus after that. But I quite like that. You can do it with the slider and you can do it with these two buttons that are here, the plus and minus buttons. We'll just zoom back out again with that finger motion. Look there at the gear icon. It's going to let us look down the bottom first. You've got main camera, telephoto camera and wide camera. If you get out a little bit further, you've got the white balance, rotating the camera, uh, flipping, etc. But we're at the camera timer. The camera timer is very important for this, this app. Three seconds I find for my tripod is fine. If you've got a very, very uh, flimsy sort of a tripod, go to 10 seconds. So we'll keep it on the main one for now. Um, and I've taken these other photos with the other cameras as well, and, and it worked quite well. So we've done the focusing. Now we can set the number of exposures. Look at that, up to 500 photos. For the sake of what we're doing here, we're just gonna go to say 50. There's 50. Six second timer, we can go up to 100 second uh, uh, shutter speed, I should say. We'll bring that back down. We'll go to three, go to 13, 14, 16 seconds. We'll bring the ISO down as low as we dare go. 426, that'll do. Hit close, hit the shutter. And right now it's gonna start counting down as a percentage until the photo's done. It does take a while, you just gotta be patient now. If it's early in the morning, get yourself a coffee. If it's late at night, get yourself something else to drink. But at the moment, that's gonna take a few minutes to, to finish that photo. The percentage will cut count down. My advice on this is to turn your alerts off or maybe silence your phone because every percentage is gonna give you a shutter noise. And trust me, after a while, that becomes annoying. <laughs> when we think about all the different phones that are available right now in astrophotography, my honest opinion is the Pixel 8 Pro is the best for astrophotography for taking photos of the stars. And the reason it is as good as it is, it's taking a four minute long photo. It's taking 16, 16 second long photos. So 16 photos, 16 of them, and then it stacks them on top of each other, aligns all the stars and gets rid of the noise. This is doing something very similar with the iPhone. The results won't be pixel-esque. Is that a word? I was making a new word. They're going to be good, but they're not going to be like a pixel. They're probably not going to be quite as good as the iPhone native camera app, especially on the 15. But if you've got an older iPhone, you've got to get this thing because this is free. It does a bloody good job. And especially on the older phones, it's going to bring you so much further into what we're doing now with the more high-end phones with the stars. Photo is done now. This is what you get presented with now, the options to, to, to save this image. We're just gonna go with JPEGs 
because that's what I said before. Now hit OK to that. Now, look at this screen here. We can adjust the photo that we've just taken before we do any sort of uh, editing on this photo. We can, we can do some things with, from within the app. Uh, we can change the brightness, that's all well and good. We can change this smart image calibration. There's Orion, have a look out there. You can see that's pretty damn good for a phone. Now, uh, what else do we want to do? Adjust the saturation, maybe. We can change the white balance here in the black point, change a little bit darker, change the temperature, make it a little bit cooler. I tend to make um, astro photos a little bit cooler and change the tint. I actually don't mind that, I'm going to save it just as it is right there, save it as a JPEG, and we'll go over to all these images here that I've taken while I've been testing this thing, and let's have a look at this Orion photo. Not one single star trail from this app. And how many photos did we take? Let's go back and have another quick look, because all the settings will be there. We'll close on that. That's 50 photos of 60 seconds each, 16 seconds each, 50 photos, 16 seconds each, not a single star trail. That's bloody amazing. As I said before, it's going to use all, you can use all three cameras, any one of the three, if you've got three on your phone, and do the same process exactly the same way. For free. I can't get over these things for free. The possibilities with this are just endless. You can use your telephoto, so your five times zoom on the 15 Pro Max, and do a 500 uh, exposure photo for 100 seconds each on things like Orion and stuff. So if it wasn't so late in the morning, we'd stick around and do some more photos. You can see the sun's coming up here. If you look over just there, that there is Venus coming up. So that would have been quite cool to shoot as well. So I'll try this in the next few days in the morning, early hours of the morning, we're on daylight savings here now, so it doesn't get dark until, well, too late for this black duck, but I get up nice and early in the morning. So it gives me this window here to take these sorts of photos. So wherever you are in the world, the galactic, sea, the galactic core season for us is finished here, but I think it's still dragging on a little bit in the Northern hemisphere, a little, little bit. But I'm pretty impressed with this app. It's uh, for an older iPhone, especially for an older iPhone, this is where it's at. This is a bit of a, a game changer for those with an older iPhone. And it's free. I can't believe this thing's for free.